These ecosystems are very delicate and once we lose you know, them, they, it's very, very difficult to get them back to what they are. These GMAs, like the one we're hunting here, is being maintained wild because of the setsi fly. The setsi fly here, for domestic animals, carries a sleeping sickness. If you bring a domestic animal here within like two weeks, those animals will fall sick with sleeping sickness and eventually die, which has been a big salvation for a lot of Africa and us included here. I'm seeing a little bit of cattle encroachment that we've got and they're managing to encroach because they inoculate their cows against the sleeping sickness. And they, you know, those cows there, they won't live as long because the inoculation is quite toxic, but all they need is to get them up to a certain age and weight and then they, they sell those cattle. So it's still, it's still a problem. It's not something that we should turn a blind eye to. It is a problem and you know, we need to try and control the encroachment of cattle, goats into these areas here because they will take over the natural grazing that belongs really to the wildlife that we have here. Even though the populations of elephant have gone down a lot, there is still a few incidents of ivory poaching. There's a slight problem with also poaching for lion and leopard because firstly the skins and then some of them are actually poached for the bones and the fat. And the lions and leopards, you know, they're quite easy to snare on a bait. So we're watching out for this. And I think all of us, even African parks doing their patrols and everything, they're watching out for these problems here. So our forests here um, held a lot of rosewood, which is a, a very expensive wood. We've got a lot of pod mahogany and also mukwa. All these timbers here are being cut down in the forest there by illegal timber people. It's a huge problem because there's thousands, if not millions of dollars being lost by the community. If they could manage that properly, it would be a resource that will bring them a lot of money. The anti-poaching that we're doing now is basically derived from the hunting activities that we do here. A certain percentage of our profits go into, into the anti-poaching, like buying the motorbikes, supplying fuel, paying the guys who ride the motorbikes and our own personal scouts who actually collect the wires and intelligence and sometimes catch the poachers with their muzzle loaders. It's quite effective, but it's still not enough. You know, the hunting doesn't generate the money that we need to do the anti-poaching and also to do the community work that we need to. At the moment, it's costing us like $4,000 a month just for the motorbikes and the fuel and paying some salaries. And, and it's, it's effective. We've noticed over the last five years that we've been here that there has been a change. I mean, it's not a sudden change, it's a gradual change. And, you know, that's, that's not a lot of money for the change that we're seeing. But if we could, you know, beef that up with some other support, however small it is, it would help a lot. There's a lot of encroachment by villagers because of their methods of farming and uh, the game control areas are not really controlled that well. I think we've, we've lost, along the way, we've lost what the management of these areas is supposed to be. It really, if we're going to look after the fauna and flora of our country, these things need to be controlled and looked at very carefully because these ecosystems are very delicate and once we lose, you know, them, they, it's very, very difficult to get them back to what they are. So, yeah, the, the management of the areas, is, they're not being managed properly because, you know, these management uh, plans were, were drawn up a long time ago and, they, you know, they're not being adhered to anymore. It's just sort of like haphazard, we go along as we go along and things don't happen as they should. I think that, you know, from my point of view, the main problem is, is the political influence has overshadowed the policing and the management of these areas here.